For over 2,000 years, the Dead Sea Scrolls remained a mystery. But now, AI is revealing hidden messages. The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in 1947 by Bedouin shepherds searching for a lost goat among the limestone cliffs of the Judean desert. The shepherds stumbled upon a hidden cave near the ruins of Qumran, where they found several ancient scrolls stored in clay jars. These scrolls, dating back to the Second Temple period, would become one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. Initially, only seven scrolls were retrieved from what became known as Cave One. These scrolls included copies of biblical books, sectarian writings, and commentaries. News of the discovery spread, leading to further searches by archaeologists and Bedouin treasure hunters. Over the next decade, fragments from over 900 scrolls were found in 11 caves scattered across the region. Many of the scrolls were written in Hebrew, but others were in Aramaic and Greek. Some were in a Paleo-Hebrew script, an ancient form of Hebrew used before the Babylonian exile. The scrolls contained books of the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, apocryphal texts, sectarian rules, commentaries, and apocalyptic prophecies, providing an unparalleled look into Jewish thought in the centuries before and after Jesus. Since their discovery, scholars have debated who wrote and preserved the Dead Sea Scrolls. The most widely accepted theory is that they were written by the Essens, an ascetic Jewish sect living at Qumran. The Essens, described by ancient historians Josephus, Philo of Alexandria, and Pliny the Elder, were a separatist Jewish group that rejected the priesthood of the Jerusalem temple. They lived in isolation, followed strict purity laws, and believed in a coming messianic age. Many of their beliefs mirrored those found in the scrolls. Apocalyptic expectations, communal living, and rigid rules for behavior. However, this view has been challenged. Some scholars argue that the scrolls came from various Jewish groups possibly hidden at Qumran during the Jewish-Roman War, 66 to 73 AD. Others suggest they were part of a larger Jewish library, perhaps belonging to the temple in Jerusalem or another scholarly community. Over 200 copies of books from the Hebrew Bible were found, making up nearly 40% of the entire collection. Every Old Testament book, except Esther, is represented. The Great Isaiah Scroll almost entirely intact, is the oldest complete copy of Isaiah ever found. Some scrolls contain non-canonical Jewish writings, such as the Book of Enoch, Jubilees, and the Testament of Levi. These works, though not included in the Jewish or Protestant biblical canon, were widely read in the Second Temple period. These include writings unique to the Qumran community, such as the Community Rule, manual of discipline, rules for the sect's members, their initiation process, and their expectations of holiness. The War Scroll, a prophecy describing an apocalyptic war between the Sons of Light and the Sons of Darkness. The Damascus Document, regulations about purity, religious observance, and the leadership of the sect. The Messianic Rule, a vision of the coming messianic age describing the roles of two messiahs, one priestly and one kingly. The Pesha commentaries interpret biblical texts, often in an apocalyptic way. For example, the Pesha on Habakkuk interprets the book's prophecies as referring to the sect's own time, with figures such as the teacher of righteousness and the wicked priest symbolizing real historical people. Unlike the other scrolls, which were written on parchment or papyrus, the copper scroll was inscribed on metal sheets. It lists a treasure map detailing hidden caches of gold and silver, supposedly from the Jerusalem temple. Scholars debate whether the treasure ever existed or was symbolic. The Dead Sea Scrolls were written between the 3rd century BC and the 1st century AD, a time of great upheaval in Jewish history. During this period, the Jewish people were under the rule of the Seleucid Greeks, the Hasmonean dynasty, and later the Romans. 
the sect that wrote or preserved the scrolls, lived during a time of messianic expectation and increasing tensions with the ruling powers. Some scholars believe the teacher of righteousness, a figure mentioned in several scrolls, may have been a priest or leader who opposed the Jerusalem temple's corruption. His enemy, the wicked priest, could represent a Hasmonean high priest, possibly Jonathan Aphus or Alexander Janius. These tensions eventually led to the Jewish-Roman War, 66 to 73 AD. Many scholars believe that as the war intensified, Jewish groups hid their sacred texts in desert caves to protect them from destruction. Before the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, much of what scholars knew about Second Temple Judaism came from later rabbinic writings and early Christian sources. The scrolls filled in the gaps, revealing the diversity of Jewish thought before the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 AD. Several key insights have emerged. Biblical texts were not yet standardized. The Dead Sea Scrolls include variations of biblical books, showing that the Hebrew Bible had multiple textual traditions before being finalized in the second century AD. Messianic expectations were varied. Some scrolls describe a priestly messiah, a kingly messiah, and an eschatological prophet rather than a single figure. Connections to early Christianity. Some scholars argue that John the Baptist and Jesus may have been influenced by the Essene movement, given the similarities in baptism, apocalyptic teachings, and emphasis on righteousness. For decades, scholars meticulously analyzed these fragile scrolls, painstakingly reconstructing fragments and attempting to decipher their meaning. However, the condition of many scrolls made certain portions illegible, leaving significant gaps in historical and biblical research. With the advent of artificial intelligence, AI, and advanced imaging technologies spearheaded by institutions such as NASA, researchers have been able to re-examine the Dead Sea Scrolls with unprecedented accuracy. AI has facilitated the reconstruction of missing text, analysis of handwriting styles, and even the identification of scribal inconsistencies that challenge long-held scholarly assumptions. NASA's multispectral imaging techniques, originally developed for planetary research, have uncovered faded or hidden text that was previously invisible to the human eye. The fusion of AI and NASA's imaging technology is revolutionizing our understanding of these ancient manuscripts and the people who wrote them. So what did they find this time? The most groundbreaking use of AI in Dead Sea Scroll research has been its ability to reconstruct missing or faded text. Many of the scrolls are fragmented, damaged by time, and in some cases, entire portions are missing. By utilizing machine learning algorithms trained on known Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek scripts, AI can predict and reconstruct words and phrases with remarkable accuracy. AI software has been trained using vast databases of ancient Hebrew scripts, allowing it to recognize subtle variations in writing styles. When applied to the scrolls, it can suggest the most probable letters or words that might have originally existed in the gaps. This has helped fill in missing verses from biblical manuscripts and clarify ambiguous passages in sectarian texts. By using pattern recognition and contextual analysis, AI ensures that its reconstructions align with existing linguistic and historical knowledge. For example, scholars have long struggled with missing portions of the War Scroll, an apocalyptic text describing a battle between the Sons of Light and the Sons of Darkness. AI analysis has allowed for the reconstruction of entire sentences shedding new light on the theological beliefs of the Qumran community regarding the end times. NASA, known for its expertise in space exploration and planetary imaging, has played a crucial role in Dead Sea Scroll research by applying multispectral and hyperspectral imaging techniques. These technologies, originally designed to analyze the surfaces of planets and detect hidden geological formations, have been repurposed to study ancient manuscripts. 
Multispectral imaging involves capturing images of the scrolls under different wavelengths of light, from ultraviolet to infrared. This allows researchers to detect ink traces that are no longer visible to the naked eye due to aging, decay, or deliberate erasure. The Great Isaiah Scroll, one of the most complete biblical manuscripts found at Qumran, was analyzed using this method, revealing previously invisible letters and annotations made by scribes over 2,000 years ago. A particularly fascinating discovery came from the analysis of the Temple Scroll, a text outlining laws and rituals concerning temple worship. Multispectral imaging uncovered additional layers of text beneath the visible surface, suggesting that the scroll had been edited and rewritten multiple times. This challenges traditional assumptions about the stability of sacred texts in the Second Temple period and raises questions about how biblical texts evolved before reaching their final canonical form. One of the most controversial debates among scholars is whether the Dead Sea Scrolls were written by a single sect, such as the Essenes, or if they represent a broader collection of Jewish writings. AI has provided groundbreaking insights into this issue through handwriting analysis. Using deep learning algorithms, researchers have been able to analyze the microscopic variations in letter formation across different scrolls. A study published in 2021 revealed that the great Isaiah scroll, long believed to be the work of a single scribe, was actually written by at least two different scribes. The AI detected subtle inconsistencies in ink application, stroke angles, and letter spacing that human scholars had overlooked. This suggests that the production of biblical manuscripts at Qumran was more complex than previously assumed, involving multiple scribes with varying writing styles. Additionally, AI has been used to group scrolls based on handwriting similarities, helping to establish which scrolls were likely written by the same individuals. This has led to the identification of distinct scribal schools within the Qumran community, hinting at a more organized manuscript production process than scholars once believed. One of the major questions in biblical scholarship is when and how the text of the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, became standardized. The Dead Sea Scrolls contain multiple versions of biblical books, some of which differ significantly from the Masoretic text, the authoritative Hebrew Bible used today. AI analysis has helped confirm that textual variations were common in the Second Temple period. Some biblical books, such as Deuteronomy and Psalms, exist in multiple versions, showing that the process of canonization was still ongoing during this time. This aligns with recent scholarly views that biblical texts were edited and compiled over centuries, rather than being set in stone from their inception. Many of the sectarian texts found at Qumran, including the Messianic rule and the Damascus document, describe expectations of a coming messiah or multiple messiahs. AI has helped reconstruct missing portions of these texts, clarifying whether the community anticipated a single messianic figure or multiple anointed leaders. One reconstructed passage suggests that the Qumran community believed in a dual messiah system, one priestly and one kingly reflecting a tradition different from later Christian interpretations of a singular messiah. This discovery adds to the growing evidence that Second Temple Judaism was highly diverse with competing theological interpretations of messianic prophecy. The integration of AI and NASA's technology into Dead Sea Scroll research represents a paradigm shift in the study of ancient texts. These tools have not only helped recover lost words and identify scribes, but have also challenged long-standing assumptions about the standardization of biblical texts, the role of scribal schools, and the diversity of Jewish beliefs in the late Second Temple period. As AI continues to evolve, it promises to unveil even deeper secrets hidden within these ancient scrolls, bringing us closer to understanding the religious and historical world of early Judaism and Christianity.
The story of the Dead Sea Scrolls is far from over. With the power of modern technology, we are now able to peer further into the past than ever before, ensuring that the words of the ancient scribes continue to speak to future generations. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.